That's actually my favorite color. I like the green a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just ah, make sure there's no mold. Yeah, I know. I had to check myself. <laughs> it's a, it is a little soft, though. Interesting. I get a little, little, you know, one of these, a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, this hurts, but if you do a little tap like this, it, it resolves that problem. Oh, man. <laughs> or a feather. Jerry knows that from experience. He's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I'm not drinking whiskey right now, so it's like, what's the excuse going to be? <laughs> you are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys Podcast, where myself and Alex Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs are going to be discussing cigars in relation to this holiday weekend, otherwise known as Labor Day. We're going to first start off by discussing different cigars that we would recommend for this Labor Day weekend for various reasons, whether they are more patriotic or just convenient for the activities you'll be doing, which include... The Beach. The Springs. The Springs. Are you asking me? Yeah, that's why I pointed at you. Well, I plan on working, so I'll be at home working on Monday. <laughs> okay. Or boating, perhaps? On the grilling. boat. And grilling. At the same time. So, first we'll start off with what we're smoking. I... Was gonna get a more. I was gonna get a cigar that was more on theme, but someone told me I had to try this. And to be fair, it is Aganorsa Leaf. They make great cigars, and we like the people that work there. So I'm smoking the Arsenio that came out recently, just dropped. Uh, I got this um, Corona size, I guess I would say, uh, Corona Gordo size. So far, very good. As uh, Jared said earlier, the color is great. My favorite color. Nice b- deep blue color. That's right. Deep Jared, blue. what are you smoking? I'm actually smoking a new favorite of mine. I've, I've been kind of moving away from Padrones. I haven't been smoking as many Padrones as I have in the last few days. So I'll be <laughs> smoking a Padrone right after this podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm smoking uh, Saluda more. Well, Eora. Pestas? 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 Yes, Alex pronounced it correctly. That's That's what it is. Anyways, it's pretty good. I've been smoking this for quite some time, at least a few months and a few days. Oh, and now a few minutes. It's, it's so got. It's so far so good. Good to know, Mark. So I was smoking the um, Basa cigar. Oh, my actually, actually my favorite cigar. Okay, and um, Wh- I, which Basa though? I tossed back and forth. Um, he can't I, commit. I think because I've been smoking the Maduro so much that it's kind of a nice refresh smoking this Habano. I have to admit, that's pretty true. I didn't want to say it myself. Not by itself or like with just water or like a coffee or what? does it really matter? What? Like prime example, like the Maduro by itself is a go-to every day. But, yeah, but the but Habano, yeah. you can have it by itself or that with a coffee and, and kind of go back and forth. But the Maduro uh, alone, I like it just, just the way it is. Yeah. I mean, on Labor Day, I'll probably have it with like a... Maybe like a diet coke, <laughs> make ultra. Whoa, there we maybe, go. Maybe a, changing it up. Maybe a Yingling flight. It is okay, Labor Day. Slow it down, flight. Yeah, you ever ha- uh, you ever had Yingling flight? So good. They're, they're pretty good. While you're playing your flight simulator. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? F- five minutes. You know, I like to take five minutes of everyone's time here and kind of do a deep <laughs> <laughs> do a deep dive into the. Uh, Whatever happened to getting your your plane license or whatever? That's still on the back burner of my like things to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that actually was an answer. I wasn't actually. I thought you were going to say something else. What would you expect him to say? You're going to finish it and become the Sky Guys pilot. 
Yeah, I'm gonna finish in becoming Scar Guys pilot. Oh, oh man, oh exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, honestly, I wasn't gonna do it, but then I, I thought about you, and I'm like, Jared would love to have a Scar Guys pilot, and I just think I'm the guy to do it. So I thought about you today too. I'm not gonna lie. What'd you think about? That you wouldn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> no man the Wrong pilot brother. thing you used to talk about that all the time I just don't know where, like where that went but I'm glad it's coming back come back strong because <laughs> we had the uh, cigar guys uh, piggy bank that we've been dropping uh, money into are we gonna buy a plane yes yeah, pr- pr- probably a Cessna <laughs> Cessna probably a model <laughs> name to start <laughs> we can't all we can't all fit in a Cessna <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a Piper <laughs> maybe a drone <laughs> Hmm. We'll, we'll get we'll get something. Yeah, I think I foresee it for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's get a boat. I do have a boating license, so call me Captain Mark. You got the easiest license you can get. In I, the- got- <laughs> <laughs> I got it in middle school. <laughs> Hasn't expired. No. There's different types. You can get like the year one. It's really easy, and you just get it for the year. I mean, they're all easy, but it's just a matter of convenience. Like, I'm driving a jet ski tomorrow, and I never drive jet skis, so I'm going to get my year-long temporary, boating yeah. temporary license. Yeah. Which would be a great activity for Labor Day. Jet skiing? Jet skiing with a cigar? Yeah. Exactly. That'd be sick. That's actually possible. It definitely is possible. Yeah. It, it's been done. Will happen again. It will. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the issue here. I bet a lot of people are going to do it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow? Or Mon- you know, Labor Day. Monday. This weekend. Some people oh, might do man. it tomorrow I'll, also. I was excited. I was like Thursday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Hmm. Mm. For some people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway. That's what we're smoking. Um, and then we're going to talk about two or three other cigars that we would recommend. Each, I hope you came prepared. I know, of course, someone didn't, but hopefully he can uh, think fast on his feet. But on that note, to give him more time, I'm going to throw it over to Jared, who I know is always prepared, regardless of the situation. Jared, give me one cigar that you recommend people to have this Labor Day weekend. Let's say they're at the beach or they're boating. Just beach, just boating, <laughs> or similar outdoor activities. A- anything really. If you're heavily in the sun, I'd suggest like more of a like Connecticut-based cigar, something lighter, like a Macanudo. Hmm, okay. I know it's about twenty-two dollars a stick, but it tastes really good. Uh, it's lighter. I don't suggest people smoke heavier or full-body cigars, or maybe have a lot of uh, high intensity, like a high nicotine in the sun. I want you to you soak up the sun and not the nicotine. Mm. So I'd say more of a lighter, lighter cigar. So I'd say Macadoo is pretty nice. You don't have to get the white series, which is like $22 a stick. Um, but it does taste good. Yeah. But definitely on the lighter side there. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. So you want to avoid people getting nicotine sickness? Nicotine and sunburn, I guess. Sun sickness. I mean, it doesn't happen to me. I don't know if that's still a thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a myth. It it's, like on, a- it's on the fence, actually. Uh, based on the comments we got, it was about 50-50. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I mean, it's definitely a thing, like... I think we can't deny it is a thing, but some people are. So someone said, I think it's a nicotine tolerance, which obviously makes sense. Obviously, if you have more cigars, you're going to be more tolerant of it. Yeah, but like I smoke a lot of cigars. And I still get cigar sick sometimes every now and then. So is it nicotine sickness? Cigar sick? We got to solidify these terms. I don't want any more kind of confusion. <laughs> I don't think anyone's getting confused. Yeah, I think it's just a you well, thing. I'm confused because it doesn't exist. So <laughs> you're labeling something that doesn't exist. Yeah, Jer- Jerry's got a point here. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, Mark is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what I think you should smoke is something grown in America because that's what Labor Day is about. Mm. So I'd probably pick up uh, 20 acre farms. Okay. Okay. Can't go wrong. Definitely actually. stole one of mine, but that's fine. <laughs> great great cigar though. So made with Florida sun grown tobacco. Yeah, exactly. Uh Connecticut wrap. So very good 
cigar for beach day, boat day. Golfing. I personally have smoked it at the beach and on a boat. Not golfing yet, but definitely a great cigar for the occasion. Um, and since Labor Day is, I think, predominantly an American holiday, I've heard that it's around the world, but we're going to stick with the American version. We should definitely be smoking American grown cigars. I agree. Especially Florida sun grown. Exactly. Because Florida is a sunshine state and we're talking about sunshine activities. So you're recommending an FSG cigar? More specifically, the 20 acre farm, like you said. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's a good cigar. I think it's probably the best out of our lineup. I agree. Of like That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. The other Florida Sun Growns are more on the medium to full side, darker wrapper. So maybe not quite for this occasion. Maybe later at night when it's cooler. But yep. I would recommend personally a Besa Habano Rothschild. Uh, 45 minute smoke, give or take. Perfect for a quick break on the beach, on the boat. You're inside. Family's getting a little crazy. Step outside, light up a Besa Rothschild. More on the mild side, so you're not going to get overwhelmed. It's very, very smooth, great flavor. I feel like you could smoke a Betha Rothschild. A what? A what? Betha Rothschild. <laughs> I try to combine both of them, you know, shorten the time up, save some time here. <laughs> a a Betha child? Exactly. A Betha child? You could definitely smoke one of those faster than 45 minutes. That's a little... I mean, you could, but... For Jared, that's like a 20-minute smoke. I like to get... The most bang for my buck, you know? So if I'm spending the money on a cigar, I want it to last as long as possible. And you know, sometimes I smoke that thing for an hour. Exactly. And Mark's a fast smoker. I've been calming it down. He's been learning. Jared just has a need for speed with everything he does. He, he just likes to be efficient. You could say that. Yeah. Go, go on. He's like a very efficient guy in everything he does. He's not in it for the experience. He's in it for the result. Yeah, that's why it's a problem keeping woman. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know what it means. <laughs> no, I didn't really get that one actually. He's a fish and he doesn't yeah, really get Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right, get out. Your Uber's here. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are all good cigars. Um, my next recommendation: sticking with the American theme here. The American <laughs> JC <JC-Uman>. Newman. <laughs> True. Have you had it? Yeah. How is it? I haven't had it yet. That's why I'm asking. It's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Not the best, but it's not bad. A lot of people do enjoy it, though. It's a popular cigar. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of pictures from this weekend of that cigar. 100%. Wait, did the situation change? Are we still on a boat in the sun or wherever you want to be, Jared? Just, you know, Labor Day activities, you know, besides actual labor. So sleeping? Uh, Sure. Well, what do you smoke when you're sleeping? If I could guess anybody that would be smoking when they're sleeping, it'd probably be Jared. Yeah. And I've never waken up with ash on me. Technically. I find that hard to believe. Technically. I'm, I'm sure there's been plenty of times where you've woken up in the same clothes and just ash all over. Maybe a different A word, but uh, not ash. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds similar. So I'd say, uh, I think, I think they're headquartered in Miami. I could be wrong. One of the greatest cigars I've ever smoked in my entire life. Alex might be able to guess it. Maybe Mark. Mark's already <laughs> smiling. You guys want to go ahead and guess what it is? Is it a Padron? Uh, yeah. yeah it is. <laughs> Padron 1926, but the 64 comes in a close number two, I'd say. Hmm. That's more of like the evening with like a whiskey. Mm. So when you're closing down Labor Day, getting yeah. ready for Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, or unless you're partying, you don't, you're going to skip Tuesday. Watching fireworks. Or doing whatever you want to do. That's the American dream. I like that. That's a good answer. Dude, amen. I would also recommend something that's on the cheaper side. And conveniently, it has a um, American-esque flag on it. It's the... Brickhouse, Connecticut. So it's got this nice little patriotic flag on the footband here. This one's actually eight fifty for a Churchill. They used to be cheaper, but they're still under ten dollars. And uh, the Connecticut is definitely a good cigar to start with. Beach boat day, whatever activity you're doing, 
And this one will last all day. If you're one of those guys that just wants to chill on the beach and smoke a cigar the whole time, get a Churchill. Uh, pretty good for the price, I would say. So check out the Brick House. Definitely a cigar we don't talk about ever. Yeah, we never talk about that. Kind of underrated. A lot of uh, bargain smokers would recommend this one. We, we A lot of cigars today we'd never really recommend. True. We can't recommend them all. Yeah, there's just so many out there. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can throw one more in there. I, I know got, I can. I got to think. Go ahead with yours. I did a uh, review on this one, a quick mini review. And it's really all encompassing of this brand, but the United Cigars Firecracker cigars, which are usually like around three, three and a half inches. Very big. Very big size. But in all seriousness, uh, nice, like 45, 30, 45 minutes smoke. Another quick break that you could take. Um, they've got different versions of it that they collaborate with, like uh, Agonorsa Leaf, for example. Um, and a few other brands. I think Alec Bradley was one of them. But they collaborate with different brands to make these little firecracker sizes. Um, definitely a good quick smoke for in between whatever activity you're doing. Um, I would highly recommend you check them out. Yeah. I think even their um, the United Connecticut line would probably be pretty good. Yeah. That's newer too. Yeah. Uh, very patriotic. Has a nice uh, American-esque band on there. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty good, especially for the price. What are they, like, 10 bucks? I think those are, uh, like, 8 or 9. Yeah, so for yeah, the price point, 10. they're, like, real good. Yeah. Not a lot of people talk about that, either. And you can go for a Habana or a, uh, I think it's a Natural or a Maduro, as well. So, they've got, they cover the whole spectrum. But yeah, for Labor Day, I'd go with the Connecticut. Yeah. With that particular cigar. Jared, can you squeeze one more in there? I wanted to keep it uh, inexpensive. But I already mentioned two cigars that are worth like in the 20s. Doing great. I was going to say a Monte Cristo Yellow Series, but then I thought to myself, I haven't even smoked that a long time, so it'd be kind of like hypocritical to mention that. Then I thought to myself, if we're doing like FSG, American, let me bring it back to Florida one more time. And uh, something I smoked on a podcast a few times that I haven't smoked in a while, which I'll buy right after this podcast, is uh, La Gloria Cubana. Mm. For me, the Maduro... But the classic is just oh, it's just fine too. Yeah, it's a good cigar. And that's around I think eight bucks. So it's very affordable and pretty tasty, and it's Miami based, I believe. There you go. Jared gave you guys something um, economical for once, and that actually lasts you forty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like Jared, it will. Or if you just want a long time to smoke, and you just want to be a little showboaty, get a. Oh my god! It just it's not, it's not so bad, right? You're gonna say, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it. Oh, Elysium Ogre, but did, or I got the Ogre. You got uh, the, the yeah, yeah, original, the, the Asylum. Oh, sorry, Asylum. Yeah, Elysium. I was thinking about something. Everyone else. seeks Asylum. That's actually a pretty smart slogan. I saw it today. I was like, dang, that's pretty good. Everyone seeks Asylum. But that, what is that one called? The big one? They don't. But I mean, it's a good slogan. The well, the, the big. The nine by nineties, the April Fools. No, 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 the one right below that one. I don't remember. I know the ogre is that one. I don't know. Yeah, the barber pole. It's the, pretty nice. They're pretty good cigars, though. Like, if you if you get it though, I would recommend like a big punch cut. That's what I did, and worked out perfect. And they last a very long time. Yeah, so long that Mark didn't even finish it. Yeah, and for twelve dollars, I mean, it's a good price. Yeah. If you want to get a gigantic cigar that's even cheaper than that, the Aganor Salif has the the Lunatic 8x80. I think that was like 9 bucks, give or take. So if you want to save a few dollars, you can do that. If I saw it, I'd buy it. It was right underneath the cigar you bought. Was it really? Yeah. I'm buying it today. There you go. I'm going to watch you buy it today. Yeah, can you confirm? Make sure he buys it. I'll be there to confirm, and then you confirm what you, I confirm, confirming him. Yeah, because you're colorblind, so might throw off the senses. What I'll do is I'll record him, <laughs> and then send it to you and be like, please confirm this. <laughs> get the fact checker on it. Can you review it. this footage for me? Okay, get the fact checkers on it. And we have to run it through AI to make sure it's not fraudulent. An AI checker. It's true. 
So what is Labor Day? Besides another reason to skip work on a Monday. It's to celebrate the working class citizen. Mm, very true. I mean, the guy that's out there building your house that you live in, you know, the guy that's out there that that, that is coding your internet that you go on. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, who, we're, that's who we're celebrating. Celebrating the laborers. Exactly. The working class. The people that matter, quite truly. Very, very unappreciated group of people nowadays. People that go to work. Exactly. No one wants to go to work anymore. No one wants to make money, help out society. So we have to remember what this day is really about. The laborers. Demanding the eight-hour work day. What? What did you say? The eight-hour work day. Demanding oh. the eight-hour work day. Sometimes 12, 16. Well, yeah, it's a minimum, I think. Or- <laughs> it should be a minimum. We're looking at, like, you know, six-hour days, four days a week, you know, something like that. That's what we're heading towards. It'd be cool. No overtime. Sorry, can't do it. Mm. Can't afford it. That's why you have to be careful of this election. But yeah, so we're celebrating people that actually go to work, in my eyes. And how do cigars tie in this? Specifically, in the working class. We're going to talk about a little history, just a little bit. We're not going to bore you too much. But even in the 19th and 20th century, cigars were a common pastime for people that had a little extra money to spend on cigars. Back then, I mean, they were cheap, but wages were also cheap. So, end of the long work week, go out, you know, local brothel or bar or pub, whatever your preference was, grab a cigar, hang out with the boys. But two, uh, as far as cigar makers, their role in the labor movement, Samuel Gompers, for example, he was a former cigar maker that became the first president of the American Federation of Labor. So cigar history ties into the history of Labor Day this holiday. I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to talk about that. Sam G. Interesting. I know another Sam G. Funny how history repeats itself. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the other Sam G into the cigar industry too, but it'll, it'll get there. It'll get there. But yeah, cigars, especially back then, were seen more as a luxury. They still kind of are, but I think back then it was more like, you know, the boss would smoke the cigar. Now it's become more maybe acceptable and accessible to everyone. We're all bosses now? We're all bosses. If you're smoking a cigar, you're a boss. Yeah, I think there's a lot more options out there and a lot cheaper options now than there might have been back then. Yeah, it's hard to tell with costs rising everywhere, including in cigars. It's like, well, cigars are so expensive. But if you're going out to a bar and you're getting a drink, it's the same thing. Yeah, well, remember that one guy commented on our video. He used to get a curly heads for 50 cents. Yeah. Still a great cheap cigar, the curly head by Charles Fuente. For like four or five bucks now. But I mean, compared to everything else, they're probably the best bang for your buck at that price point. For what? Yeah, I mean, the last long time. Yeah, actually, I would go ahead and say the JFR is probably a better price point than that cigar. Not a better price point, but I mean, bang for, what, for your buck, maybe. for what you get, yeah, because you get a bigger cigar for six dollars. Yeah, especially if you want to have more of a medium to full body experience, you can get there with the JFR. Yeah, I think the JFR does have a little more of a harsh harshness to it for the experienced smoker. Yeah, for someone like Jared. Every day. Who likes it in the back of his throat? <laughs> nah, nah. Not cigars. <laughs> not nothing. Unless it's like one of those like, what was that? The the bake thing from Costco. The chicken bake. The chicken, bake. The chicken bake and the double chunk chocolate chip cookie or whatever. <laughs> it's a double chunk chocolate cookie. It's a double chunk chocolate cookie. That's a million views right there. From Costco. Have you seen the behind the scenes for those guys' videos? I did see that, yeah. <laughs> like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. It's like a whole production. <laughs> we should do that. But, uh, relight it. Nope. Oh, get a new one. We should do a, re- a review of a cigar. 
and then and then have like a behind the scenes and I was like always cutting. <laughs> it's like me freaking out. Mm-hmm. We could do that. We could do We're cigar guys. <laughs> of course we smoke three cigars a day. I don't know. We'll we should do it. that. It'd be funny. We'll work on it. At least that makes more sense. I mean, you're eating three cookies a day or chicken bakes a day. Yeah, that cannot be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's got chicken. It's it's savory. It's it's baked. So a chicken how, how bake can you is go wrong. Almost like a calzone. Yeah, just like long. It's always funny how they film themselves like eating it while walking through Costco. How can they never talk about the Costco hot dog? I know. Yeah. That's like the hot staple. Dog, That's yeah. the staple of America right there. Yeah. And I would like to say that no president has committed to keeping Costco hot dog to a dollar fifty. I think the if Donald Trump could commit to that, the election's over. Over. I mean it's over now, but that'd be like There's several things like that, like keeping the McChi- like spice McChicken on the menu. Things like this. Or whatever the spicy one is that you were talking about. Uh, I think I'm going to go get a Costco hot dog for Labor Day. I think that's going to complete my weekend. And how come no one ever brings up Sam's Club? They have a dollar fifty hot dog also. Same concept. One's owned by Sam. One's owned by Costco. Which one's more bang for your buck? Which one's longer? I think they're the same. Same condiments too. There's a mustard, relish. Yeah, yeah, of course. Onions. Whatever you want, brother. Hot, hot, hot peppers. Whatever you want. Let me say that we're going. Let's we go. might, we we might can, go we can, after this podcast. Let's go to both and compare for ourselves. What's more bang for your buck? What tastes better? What's larger? Yeah. We got we got to try a chicken bake. Who has a Costco membership? I do. I don't think you have to. You just go in there and pay extra. I'm not paying extra for a hot dog. Actually, I think if you go, it's outside. So you don't have to go. You don't have to have a membership, I don't think. Oh, really? I don't think so. And it's like a self-serve thing, too. So you... Or self-pay, so you just go and pay for it, and then it comes out the window. I think I've been to a Costco like once in my life. I think that was on an accident. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Sam's Club. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, oh, I've actually never been to Costco. Really? Yeah. It's basically Sam. It's they're they're both the same. Well, because we have like a we have a Sam's Club right here, so it's yeah, exactly. Is there one located near here? Altamont. Okay. And I have a company company Sam's Club account, so. It- because we also we also have BJ's here too, right? It's like the same concept. Yeah, who goes to BJ's though? I don't know. I haven't been there either. I don't know. No, that's the one I haven't been to. I have a Sam's Club membership and a Costco membership. You know, because I, I just, sometimes I can't make up my mind. You know, isn't where's Costco? Isn't that far from here? Altamont. Oh, yes. But there's also one in um, Port Orange where my family lives, so it's like. Yeah, if I'm like, over there, I'm like, oh, I'll get gas there. Now, see, really far away. That's far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They sell diesel? I don't think so. No, I do not think so. Neither does Sam's Club. It's really uh, not good for the uh, working class, you know, the guys with the big diesel trucks. That's what I'm saying. The heart and soul of America, really, I would say. They need to fix that. What get- other places have we not been to? That we should go. I feel like there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I randomly going to restaurants and stuff like that, trying out random foods and making TikToks. Preferably places we can smoke cigars at. I'll smoke at a Costco. Why not? I don't have a membership that can't kick me out. <laughs> We're revoking your membership. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Alexander Gonzalez. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. And uh, he's the one filming it too. <laughs> it's okay. They'll pull up my picture and they'll be like, oh, that might be him. They both have beards. Yeah, that's probably him. So we're going to Costco after this or this weekend. We'll go this weekend in spirit of Labor Day. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. How's your Eora? Pretty good. It just tastes so good. Is it savory? Is that the cheese? Chicken? Is it baked? Is, is it something baked, not fried? I'm getting baked. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. What? All, all right. I, uh, my eyes are red. 
I'm like falling asleep. I think someone put some some green. Actually, this real quick. In all seriousness, this cigar trying to save himself is really good. No, this actually is really good. So definitely check out Agonorsa Leaf's newest cigar, Arsenio. Corona size is excellent. I like a thinner ring gauge, so this was definitely good. I'll probably try the other ones, but check this one out. If your local cigar shop carries Agonorsa Leaf. You want it thinner than that? That's pretty thick, man. If they made a Lancero, I'd grab it. For sure. Yep. A Corona is a great size for a cigar. I think so, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Corona Gordo. Petite Corona, even. You know, a little 30, 45 minute smoke. Like, you don't want to quite leave yet, but you don't want a whole cigar. So you're like, ah, let me just get a little Corona. I just like my 6x52s, you know. Your classics. Why can't every cigar be exactly that size? Mm. I wouldn't enjoy as much. <clears throat> It's not American, Jared. I feel like 60 is like. Yeah. But what if every cigar big. was 6 by 60? How would you feel? Well, at least it's uh, easy to remember. <laughs> well, if it's the only size, I think it's going to be easy to remember regardless. I know. It's not the size that matters. It's whether I can remember it or not. But they're all the same size. It's easy to remember. But it's not American. That's like a that's like a dictatorship to force only one size on the people. So what do you want? You want bigger? Or you like smaller? No, I just want a variety. Hmm. I want as small as you can get and as big as you can get. Would you not agree? I guess so. <laughs> so I'm enjoying this so good. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. I think it's uh. Halloween or something? I don't know. I feel like Jared's just been like in a in a um in a particular mood. I can't put my finger on it. Um intentionally aggravating. Is that a good way to put it? Argumentative, maybe? He's not aggravating me, is he aggravating you? No, I'm not no, I'm just saying like his his vibe, his mood. Like he he wants to he wants to argue. You know, like he's thinking about going to law school. No, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of up your alley. I mean, I don't, I don't know any. Well, I do know lawyers, but I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't want to go to law school unless I can take it online. I'm pretty sure that's an option. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not law no, school. No way. LSAT in the bar. Uh, if that was online. That'd be wild. Yeah, everyone would be a lawyer. Yeah, let's get chat GPT. <laughs> like, yeah, like, All right, Mike, bring your laptop next to my laptop. You can just move back to California and not go to law school and just take the bar. Yeah, but that's only for California, right? You can't, it's not universal. Yeah, uh, I think that's true. Right. Because, like, once you cross the border. Yeah, like, but you've lived there once, like, you know, you'll be fine. You know, the ins and outs. Surely it's just getting better, right? We'll just file all of our lawsuits, like, put an LLC out there, file all of our lawsuits from California, and be like, hey, you fringe and I. Whatever. Yeah, if we like have <laughs> all our lawsuits in California, we'd probably win them all. I think Jared's just hoping we get famous so he gets an honorary law degree. What? Like you know how they give out like honorary law degrees? I didn't know that. Yeah. They do that? I think Kim Kardashian has one. But I think she took no, it because in California. Yeah. Oh yeah. Someone someone got an honorary law degree and got it taken. They took it back. So what is an honor honorary law degree though? It's like, oh, like you have a degree from us. I've had my phone. Look it up. Maybe honorary degree from that like institution, but not a law degree. Yeah, like what can you do with it? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. I think it's just like symbolic. Honorary law degree. Also known as a Dr. Horace Casa, is a doctoral level degree that a school can award to someone who has made significant contributions to law and politics. Honorary degrees are academic degrees that waive the usual degree requirements and are often given to honor someone's contributions to a specific field. Huh. So it's like it's like degree and name, but you're not like a practicing lawyer. I mean, it says it waives the usual requirements. 
Yeah, but surely you, you take can't. The credits. Yeah, but surely you can't actually practice law. No, your bar status has to be active. Yeah. Let's see. These are interesting questions. No, you can't. I wanted to make sure. So you can't practice law with an honorary law degree. Which is great because I wouldn't want a doctor to have an honorary <laughs> doctorate either. <laughs> Interesting. I hope, Jared, you don't have like an honorary software degree, right? You're not like a. No. I think, regardless, you're pretty good at what you do. So. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's rare. To get a compliment from Alex. Yeah, you're right about that. No. When was the last time you complimented Mark? I don't know. I don't remember compliments to keep track of them so I can like show them in your face. Should we go around the table and compliment each other or just compliment Mark? <laughs> just me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's like the softy of the group, so maybe we should just compliment him. Excuse you. <laughs> Mark, um, you're one of one of the workers. No, it, it, I it can be really simple, but genuine, that. like this. Thank you for showing up on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Jared didn't. I was here five thirty-seven. Yeah, technically our start time is five thirty. That would be a miracle if we started at five thirty. I know, it would be. I agree. Mark, thank you for um, backing me up. Thank being a, being a good friend. Man, that was the gayest. Fuck you! I don't. Have, I, you're, you're not a good friend. You suck. Yeah. Anyway, Jared, you've already complimented me, but I'll take another. No, I'm good. I can't. I can't do it. Two two is enough. Two is more than I could ask for. Uh, what do we got next on this list? I feel like I blew through it. The list? Yeah, the list. The list. I thought we changed topics so many times. Yeah, we're fluid. We're fluid on this podcast. We like to fit in. We are topic fluid, if you will. Interesting. Choice of words. Besides um, (laughs) yingling flights. What are uh, some drinks we could have this weekend with our cigars? Ooh, Alex taking it 40 minutes back. I think um, if you're having a party at the house, you can make some old fashions. Um, nice. So we're going to your place. Awesome. If you are not accessible, honestly, man, I just feel like beer is such a Labor Day thing, you know? Yeah. Beer. Some of people are going to be drinking seltzers. You know, we've never had beer on the podcast, right? Maybe maybe that one time. At uh that dragon milk. Yeah. That was really good too. We should bring that back. Yeah, we should do an episode with uh pairing cigars with beers and we'll all drink three of us will drink beer. Maybe four of us, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, and if, if Zach shows up, you know. I'll sacrifice. I, I don't drink beer, but I'll sacrifice for the podcast. I'll live with it. We should do is uh, pour shots of tequila and or whiskey, ideally whiskey, into a glass, and then pour your favorite IPA on top. Ew! Mm. And then chug that. <laughs> and then chug that. Oh yeah, it's really good. I mean, we can. I don't see why not. I don't know why Mark's being such a softy about it. I'll do it. I don't care. I've drank worse. You know, so it's that kind of bad. I just don't like. You'll do it. <laughs> I don't want to force you to do anything. I want you to want to do it. I want you to enjoy it. That doesn't sound like a drink I would enjoy, but I would do it. Would you enjoy yeah. doing it, though? Just like... You know, when you take out you, the trash, you don't enjoy like, do, doing do, it. Do you really want to funnel two beers at once? No, but you're going to do it. You know? I, I think some people would want to. Actually, that sounds refreshing. <laughs> Funneling two beers? <laughs> With a funnel? If you could funnel one, why not two? Like, like at our age. Funnel who, two beers with a funnel, then eat a funnel cake afterwards. No, oh, at our age, what? Like, who really wants a shotgun a beer anymore, you know? But you're I'm still like, going to do it. I'm like you know? five years younger than you. Didn't you do that with the... No, I don't no, shotgun. That was, 
Didn't Zach do that recently? Zach's the shotgun pro. He's the shotgun beer, shotgun uh, Y bomb. Yeah. Like, I was recently hanging out with my friends, and we were like, all right, let's shotgun some beers. Haven't done that in a while. Kind of hurt. Whose idea was that? Not mine. (laughs) But the second one was. (laughs) (laughs) That's the thing about Mark. It's never his idea initially, but once he does it, it's all or nothing. All or nothing. Exactly. I'm a go big or go home type guy. That's why I was like, okay, if we could do one podcast episode... Mark will just keep coming back. Exactly. <laughs> and here we are. 86 episodes later. Coming up on our two-year anniversary, which I've already planned for. That's like six months from now. Five. Four. Mm, four and a half. We better have strippers behind us all the time. <laughs> Lighting our cigars. <laughs> Jared? I was going to make a joke. But, uh, I was going to say, didn't we already do that on a podcast once? But I, I, I don't know. It's possible. I think that's on the uh, subscription only model. Yeah. You got to pay for that one. Yeah, that's on our OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Which is out there. It is. It does exist. Cigar Guys OnlyFans. It is out there. Yeah, we just have like zero posts. Yeah, you know. One day, one day. Sometimes our content is too explicit for OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. We should we should start posting on it. It'll be like a Lindsay. I'm like feeling slim today. <laughs> <laughs> we just post a bunch of the ogres on there. Be like, yeah, you like this thick ad. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be weird if people were like we're paying to like DM kind of like with like as we do with Midneck, but on OnlyFans. And then is it not being about cigars, which would be a little weird. No, no, would be weird. So we should probably stick to the Minect then. No, no, I think there's a challenge involved. Mm. <laughs> what? I, well, I mean, we already like with Minect, people pay to ask questions, but I think on OnlyFans they have to, have to subscribe monthly, then they get DM. I think. Yeah. True. Are you going to be managing that? I, I would. I would love to. Oh, okay. Gives you a fake excuse to go on there. I have to. I have to go on this website. We have to manage all the, you know, all of our content, <laughs> answer all the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if money's coming in. You have to. All right. So Jared will work on that. I'll work on our two-year anniversary. Mark can twiddle his thumbs. I'll be working on smoking cigars. Hmm. Can I get videographic evidence of that? Sure. Can I get photographic evidence of that? Any any kind of evidence you want. Okay. So what's a cigar you're going to buy right after this that's bigger than the Ogre? The Lunatic. It's not bigger. Same size? Same size, but cheaper. Interesting. I wonder if it would be better. They do have the... Let me know. They do have the 10 by 100, but it's not at our local shop, unfortunately. Are you going to pair that with a Coke? Diet. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Not a Mexican Coke? Maybe maybe a iced coffee. Mm. Feeling a little feeling a little tired. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jerry? What are you gonna do? With a verify he buys it. Mm-hmm. Smokes it. Finishes. Well, maybe not. He didn't finish that one. I didn't finish that one. There's a whole four inches on there. <laughs> Mark's gotten in a bad habit of not finishing. It is finished. If you paid for that cigar, would you have left four inches on there? It's <laughs> not four inches on there. I don't know. It looks like four inches to me. I think you're blind. No. Should I bring maybe, a ruler maybe you're four inches and my four inches are a little different. We have talked about this. We need a ruler at the table. And a ring gauge. Have Mark get a, a ruler tattoo on him so he's always having to like... <laughs> <laughs> No, I swear, look. <laughs> <laughs> it goes from like zero to like like ten or something like that really fast. It's like it's like a ruler, but it's not twelve inches exactly. It's like 
<laughs> Wait, it's 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 like it's like it's six smaller. inches. Yeah, it's like six <laughs> inches, but it says twelve. Uh, well, you know, it warped. My, my skin got tighter. <laughs> We do need to film ourselves smoking on a boat. That is true. We should be super Florida about it, though, and do it on a John boat. We should all just cram on like a small fishing boat. Be sick. Try and not sink. No one's sitting in my lap, by the way. <laughs> I don't. I don't think uh, anybody offered that. <laughs> I'm disallowing it right now. <laughs> it kind of sounds like. <laughs> Kind of sounds like you want. Sounds like you're projecting. Yeah. I may not show up if uh, this is, a, is there going to be a problem, Mark. <laughs> why, why are you asking me? <laughs> you said it's going to be a problem. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> I did not say it's going to be a I problem. I decided it didn't. <laughs> I feel like Jared's projecting a little right now. He think? is projecting. Anyways, I think that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's cut this off before Jared starts we're, projecting more. We're only more. 20 minutes in, so. Are we, are we really? Yeah, no I'm using a mark ruler. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark finished his cigar. Jared's finishing. I'm finishing. We might as well keep going because if you can't finish that, how are you going to finish something that's like four times the size of that? I think he's nervous. I'm preparing. Because he's nervous. You know? Should we do a five minute deep dive on this? I, I don't think that's necessary. A therapy session? We did it a little earlier. Now we get into what makes you nervous. Nothing. What makes Jared nervous? See, when everything. We're, when, we're, <laughs> when we're doing a one on one in therapy, when you say nothing makes you nervous, that's a first step of denial. We really want to slow it down and kind of dig deep five minutes into that. And you could dig deep five minutes into our Minect. So go on there, ask us questions, ask us therapy questions, whatever kind of questions you want, and uh, we will answer them for you. We have five stars on there. We have great reviews. Uh, the only cigar experts on there. And we uh, have other expertise as well included. But the only cigar experts on there. That actually is true. If you're feeling generous and you don't need anything too, you can donate as well to our tip jar, which is also below. To help us keep improving the podcast, improving our hardware, software. Um, you know, thank you for helping Zach fix his bumper, by the way. And depending on how large the tip, Alex will actually give out his real phone number. So you can just call him directly, <laughs> which will be free, technically, after the first time. <laughs> and uh, you can well, get all the questions answered faster. You're donating out of the goodness of your heart. And then, therefore, I'm giving you a gift in return. Jared's phone number. But you can save it as my phone number. If you'd like. Whatever cigar guy you find more attractive, just save the number as that person. And then... <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Mark's getting uh, ADHD, so I think... Uh, we're gonna don't call don't burn them all. Yeah, we could use those. I do like these. Where'd you get them? Um, my fiance got them for me when she was in Boston from Stanza de Cigari. Is that you said? You're the one reading it. You've been there before. No, I haven't. You, this is the underground. No, I've been there. Underground cigar bar. It's actually pretty very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Too. It's a very nice location. Something we really can't do here. But we can make it happen. I think that would really set us apart. We do, we do have one underground bar here in Orlando. No, I'm talking about like a cigar lounge underground. If you can do a regular bar, why can't we do a cigar bar? Exactly. That's what I was getting at. Well, I agree with that. That would really set us apart from everyone else. Two-story building with one below. So it's three stories on the inside. I feel like there's something you're dying to tell us, but you're not going to tell us until after the podcast. <laughs> no, there's nothing. <laughs> he said, there's nothing up here. Tall. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. I guess so. I don't know.
Bye. Oh, he stopped recording a long time ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. Start charging like we should trade them all like uh, everyone's slogans that come on and be like, whoa, 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 use that three times last five minutes. <laughs> That's extra five hundred dollars. Like patent troll them. We can trade my troll them and copyright troll them. Mm. It's not trolling if it's uh... actually uh, it's not a lawyer, but I got my friend. He's a superintendent. He checked it out. He verified it. I did. It's okay. He verified it. He's not it's a lawyer fine. though. He's looking into it. It's a uh, company write off, uh, as you were to soda spay or. Eloquently, so to say, I meant to say. Uh, yeah. Jerry's been thinking today. I like it. Jerry's got his uh, big boy hat on. I, ironically, you're not wearing one. I actually <laughs> like it. I, I, I didn't, you know, sometimes I don't know there's hair under there or. Don't, how dare you accuse me of going bald. All right. I, I didn't say, I didn't say going bald. I said, you, you and your brother always have hats on. It's passed on. The jeans pass on to the first. You head of hair. This ain't going nowhere. And neither of them are firstborns. No, I, 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 you, you always wear a hat in every podcast. So I was like, where is the hat today? I was actually, I was so concerned when Alex sent a photo earlier of you. I was thinking to myself, it can't be, that can't be marked today because you don't have a hat on. Maybe you forgot to borrow Zach's. I don't know. I'm not really <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's definitely. I have it. my own hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that, well, no, I can't take that. I take that back. Might as well say it now. You're halfway in. Yeah, you're halfway there. Okay, the wrapper is that. Does that have the mark approval?